Hi friends, in this video we discuss about the calculation tricks because it's essential to know about the calculation tips because it requires a lot of time in the computer exams and you know that we have always short of the time while solving the problems. Let's discuss about the calculation tricks which are useful while solving the problems. First, let's discuss about the problems numbers which end in 5. Now we are discussing about the squaring the numbers. We we'll discuss about the squaring and numbers which end with the 5. Let's give an example 25. 25 square is you know that 25 square is 625. Now, now let's see 5 square here is 25 right and next number to the 2 is 3. Next number to the 2 is 3. 3 2 is a 6 is the second number. This is 625. For example, it can be like 35 square. What we have to do here is 5 square is 25 and 3 next number is 2, 3 is 4 and 3, 4 is a 12. This 1, 2, 2, 5 is 35 square. And this is valid when the, the unit digit is 5. Let me give you one more example. This is valid here in fact 95 square. 5 square is 25. And next number to 9 is 10. 9 into 10 is 90. This is 9025. Right? Now, if we have a 2 digit number, it can be a 3 digit number. And it's easy to cut the square of the number. And one thing more, uh, reverse thing is that any number which has a class 2 digit 25 may have the square root in ending with the 5. Or square ending with the number with 5 will have a square as ending with the 25. Next thing is. I'll talk about the square of numbers which are neighbors of 100. Neighbor of 100 means a number which are lying around the 100. Let's say 102 square. 102 square means, see here, what we have to do here, here we are taking the 100. It means we square this unit digit and write it into the two digit form. Squaring the two and getting into two digit form is 0, 4. Now we have squared the number 2. What we have to do, we add this 102 with the 2, we will get 104. We write here as 104. Now 10404 is the square of 102. I hope you got it. No, it's not, it's really interesting way, right? Now come to the next. Let it be 104 square. Now again 4 square, we write into the 2 digit form that is 16, right? Now we have added the 4 here because we, here is 4. 104 plus 4 is 108. We write 108 here. 10816 is the square of 104. Right? And now you are saying that the numbers this are more than 100. Now what about the numbers which are less than 100? Let me give you the example here. 98 square. Now in this case what we do, this is the number which is, is twice the less than the 100 that is the number is less than 2 right now 2 square here is we write it into 2 form that is 0 2 because here it was 2 we square the 2 because this is something more than 100. this is 2 more than 100 this is 2 less than 100 2 minus 2 into minus 2 is positive 4 now here we have added the 2 here we subtract it 98 minus 2 is 96 9604 is the answer right similarly if I say 96 square now, this is 4 less than the number. 4 square is 16. We add in 2 digit form. Now, 96 minus 4 is 92. And 216 is the square of 96. Now, these are the numbers around the 100. What about the numbers? Those numbers which are around the 50. Neighbors of the number 50. What can I say? 52 square. Again, is the same process. The 2 square is 0, 4. And 5, 52. And write 2 here. We'll get. 54 right there was the base was 100 so we have written in that way here we have to do one thing here we have base is 50 that was the base was 100 this 100 by 2 is 50 right so we need to divide it by the 2 to make it base 50 that 54 divided by 2 is 27 2704 is the answer for this equation right similarly if I the question is 54 square now again 4 square is 16 now 54, we add the 4 here, 58. Now this is the base is 50, we have to make it 100. We need to divide it by 2. 
58 by 2 is 20. 54 plus 58, 50, 20, 9, 2, 9, 1, 6 is the answer. Right? Similarly, if we get the number less than the 50, let's say 47 square. Now, this is 3 less than the number 50. The 3 less than the number 50 is 3 square is 0, 9. Now, it is 3 less. Again, we like decrease the 3 here. 47 minus 3 is 44. Again, we subtract divided by the 2. 44 divided by 2 is 2, 2. 2, 2, 0, 9 is the solution for this. Right? I hope that now the calculation will be easier for you. Now, this is all about the squares. Right? Now, let me discuss about the problems or the multiplications. Now, in the multiplication case, single unit, single digit, single digit, you can multiply easily 3 into 4, 4 into 4. Now, the problems come when the digits become 2 digit numbers and then 3 digit numbers. Let's discuss about the problems of the 2 digit. Let's me give you the example. Now, you have to multiply 12 with the 13. 12 into 13. Now, see the process here. Here, the numbers are closer to the 10. We have to check the base. Here, the base is now. 10. Numbers which are closer to the 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. 10 plus 2 is 10 plus 3 is 30. Now, this is more than 2. 10 plus 2. This is 10 plus 3. We write 3 here. Now, we multiply this 2 and 3. If we multiply 2 and 3, it will get 6 here. As the base is 10, we use only unit digit, not use the tens digit. Right? Now, 3 to the 6. Now, what we have to do? We add this 12 with the 3 or 13 with the 2. 12 with the 3 is 15 and 13 with the 2 is 15, the same number. So we write the 12 plus 3 here, 15. 156 is the answer to this. Amazed? Yes, it's a fantastic thing over here. So it's, it's not the illusion, it's the correct answer here. Let me give you more example. Now, 99 into 98. Now the here base is, numbers are closer to 100. Right? Now here we use the unit digit and tens digit. Number is closer to 100, that is, this is minus 1. 200 this is minus 2 minus 1 into minus 2 is 2 we use the two digits because the base is 100 here now 99 minus 2 is 90, 97 and 98 minus 1 is 97 the things are same we have to decrease with now 99 minus 2 is 97 that is 9702 is the answer of this problem right interesting yes obviously it's interesting here let me give you more example 95 into 96 again the base is 100. Now this is 5 less than 100 and this is 4 less than 100. 5 4 is a 20. We utilize 2 place here because the base is 100. Now 95 minus 4 or 96 minus 5. It's the either way we can do 95 minus 4 is 91. 9120 is the answer to this problem. Let's make it more complicated. Let's multiply 67 with the 98. You do it by your way. I am doing with my way. Now 98. The base is again. Let's say the base is 100. And the here the number is 2 less than the 100, here the number is 33 less than the 100. Now we multiply 33 with the 2 as 66, positive 6. And if you subtract this 7 with the 2 or 90 or 33, the number would be same. 66, 7 minus 2 is 65. Now 6, 5, 6, 6 is the solution for this part. Interesting. Now, it's not a problem. You know, when you practice the problems, you might have some doubts. You can put the comment. I mean, over the video, I'll solve your routes over there. And let me discuss a few doubts which students comes to me and ask. They're confused about the problem like 54 into 49. When I have given the problem to students, they're not able to get the answer. Now, 54 into 49 by using the above method. Here, the number is somehow the base is 50, right? Okay, let's use the base 50. The number is plus 4 to 50, and this is minus 1 to 50. Now, plus 4 into minus 1 is minus 4. Right in this way, minus. Now, 54 minus 1 or 49 plus 4 is the same thing. That is 53. Right? Now, this is 53. Now, the base here is 50. This is 10 into 5 because we use the base as 10 here because we use single unit digit here. Now, this is 10 into 5. Now, therefore, we have to multiply this number with the 5 here. Now, 53 into 5 is 53 into 5 is 265 and the number here is minus 4. Now, this means 2650 minus 4 is 26 is a solution to this. Now, yeah, it's, if I'm showing you, it seems to be lengthy, but when you practice it, it's, it's a very short method. Let me give you one more example, a, easier, a bit easier one. 23 into 21. 
Now this is the base is 20. Now this is 1 more than 20, this is 3 more than 20. 3 into 1, we write the 3. 23 plus 1, 24. Or 21 plus 3, again 24. Write the 24 here. Here the base was 20, that is 10 into 2. Again we multiply it with 2. 2 into 4, 8. 2 to the 4, 4, 8, 3 is the answer to this problem. Practice more problems. If you have any queries, just put the comment over the video. I'll try to solve that problem. Now, let's come to the problems when we have the multiplication of three numbers, three digit numbers. Multiplication of three digit. Now, the multiplication of three digit numbers. Let me, me solve with the example 123 multiplied with 321. Now, I have to multiply this. Now, see carefully. What I am doing here, I am drawing this three digit number. And this three digit number, right? Again, this three. What I do here, these are three numbers I had denoted by the dot numbers. Now, follow the sequence. We use the first as these two numbers, then we use this sequence, then we use this sequence, and then we shift here, and then finally here. So it's like a game. You start with from this number, then include these two numbers, then include all three numbers, then final two numbers, then single number. Now what it means here, this means we have to multiply the 1 into 3, 1 into 3 is 3 here. And next, we have to multiply these two numbers and add them up. 2 into 1 is 2, 3 to the 6. 2 into 1, 2, 3 to the 6, 6 plus 2 is 8 here. Right? Now, the third step, we use this, all these numbers in this way. 1 into 1 is 1, 3 3 is a 9 and 2 to the 4. 1, 9 and 4 is 14, we write the 4 and 1 carry, then these two numbers, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2 is a 6, 6, 3, 2 is a 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 1 is carry here, 8 plus 1 is 9, and the last 1 into 3 is 3, 3, 9, 4, 8, 3 is the answer to this, interesting, now let me give you one more example, multiply 306 with 24. Now you do it by the, your own way. Let me solve it by my, my way. Let's see who is doing the short time. Now 306 multiplied by 24. Here is a 3 digit number. Let's make here is also a 3 digit number. I include the 0 here. Now again the method. First 2 digits 6 4 is a 24. That is 4 and 2 carry. Then 6 2 is a 12 and 4 into nothing is nothing. 6 2 is a 12 plus 2 is 14. 1 carry. Now, 3 4s are 12. 6 into nothing is nothing. 2 into 0 is nothing is nothing. 2 into nothing is nothing. Now, this is 4, 12 plus 1, 13. 1 carry. Now, 3 2s are 6 and nothing into nothing is nothing. 6 plus 1 is 7 here. Now, 3 into nothing is nothing. I get the answer 7 3 4 4. Simple. Now it's about the visualization of this chart over here. This is all about the Vedic mathematics. That is short phrase to solve the problems. It's, it's, it's really helpful in the computer exams. Computer exams can be any of your Olympiads or majorly for the post uh, for the graduate students. It's help you into the CAD examination also. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give a feedback. I'll try to make more videos on the Vedic mathematics. Thank you.